Yes. <sighs> so, I think one of the reasons that I have particularly been successful is that I take action and think later, which doesn't always work out, but has worked out pretty bloody well in my doTERRA business, I will admit. And I got the flowers in the book this morning because I took action and thought about it later. So, the more we can do that, I think we'll really step into our doTERRA business rather than overanalyzing and freaking out about the classes and the placements and all the stuff. Just do it and learn as you go. It's okay not to be perfect when you start your doTERRA business. One of my favorite quotes of all time is Elizabeth Gilbert quote, quote, start before you're ready and before you're good at it. And that's how you get ready and that's how you get good at it. I'll repeat that again. Start before you're ready and before you're good at it, and that's how you get ready, and that's how you get good at it, yeah? Has this convention been the most epic convention ever? I've absolutely loved it, and I love that a lot of it has been about personal power and responsibility and ownership and you, and how amazing each of you are and your influence and power in the world. I love this quote by Margaret Mead, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. And that's you guys, so thank you for showing up and being here and changing the world, because you are making a massive difference. And what would life be without Harry Potter? We have to have a Harry Potter quote in the yeah. And actually, when I was at the Palm Press Summit in Arizona, Dave Sterling shared this quote. And I, like, my crush increased by 8 billion percent. <laughs> so, it is our choices, Harry, Harry, that show what we truly are far more than our abilities. Isn't that epic? Yes. I love it. So we don't have to be, you know, super talented and perfect and have everything sorted out. I don't know any of the leaders that have all of their ducks in a row, everything absolutely now, that actually we become ineffective leaders if we try to be amazing at everything. When we own our strengths and our power and what we do really well, and then draw on the strengths of others and work as a community, Vanessa's amazing at relationships, me, mm, not as much. <laughs> but there's other things that I nail and do extremely well, and I own that and show up and do that. So, I want to talk about service, and my beautiful son Dominic is here today. Dom, stand up Yay. and give a run away, mate. Yay. 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 Oh, look at that big smile on your face, you're so bloody cute, Dom. So, when I went on the Fiji incentive trip the year before last, uh, we were buying school supplies for some of the children at, a, at, at the school in Fiji. And I took Dominic to Big W to go shopping for these school supplies. And I was actually buying a lot more because I knew some of my team members coming didn't have time to do it. It was like a really rushed last minute thing. And also maybe didn't have the abundance to, to get as many. So I was getting like heaps of books and heaps of crayons and heaps of textures and stuff. And Dom was with me at Big W and he said to me, Mum, it's so awesome that you can buy me school supplies and other kids. And I was like weeping in big W, like, ah. <laughs> I was like crying. Because I remember when it was really hard for me to buy school supplies for him. And I remember using every last cent to get his school clothes and shoes and everything he needed for school. And then I needed to change his school because the one he was in was not working for him at all and it was not an enjoyable experience for any of us. So I did that and then I was like, I have to rebuy uniforms and texts and books and all this crap that they need and now we have to live off rice and eggs for a week and I'm like talking about organic food and whole foods and literally living off $10 because of the school supply situation um, and sometimes it would just be no, I would roll down the driveway on the red petrol light just like hoping the car would actually get there. Um, yeah, and my phone got switched off so many times in Diamond Club because I didn't pay my bills. Uh, sometimes it's just because I don't like authority and I couldn't be bothered. Other times, <laughs> it was because I actually didn't have the money. So, what I find really powerful about doTERRA, it is, it is difficult to be in like absolute service when we are struggling to fulfill our own financial needs. Like that is a challenge. I know plenty of people do and can and are in service 
when they're struggling to pay their own bills um, and create things for their own family and put a roof over their head and feed the family. Like that is a challenge. And when you create a doTERRA business and create the kind of abundance that not only serves all your needs but gives you the financial freedom to serve a lot of other people, that is powerful. And I'm really passionate about shifting the money mindset with people. There's this whole spiritual thing of like money's dirty and we shouldn't have any and we should give everything off our back. Um, and there's, you know, people like Corella DeVille that kind of tie in that money with evil. Gina Reinhardt, she's a dickhead, so money is evil. You know, it's not ideal. But I see money as a, like a tool that can be used for massive transformation and change. I have visions of a presidential diamond long table and we have this meeting and we're like, right, what systems are we going to disrupt today? How are we going to change the world? Like billboards. Advertising, truth bombs everywhere, and we just invest millions. Imagine in two years, five years, ten years, how many presidential diamonds and how many multiple, multiple millions of wealth that will create, and the difference we can make. So think about in your mind right now and in your heart, what are you super, super passionate about? Is that domestic violence? Is it children? Um, I loved Vanessa Jean's message of the hope oil and leading with hope. I know how passionate she is about Operation Underground Railroad, so I hope that you all remember and take that message home, and I'm definitely going to be leading with hope, so thank you, Vanessa, for that. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, some of you might know that I took down the Heart Foundation a couple, I shouldn't say took them down, but I took down the Heart Foundation tick, and I had a lot of the information on their website revised. They literally said sugar as a nutrient, is only a concern in terms of dental caries on their website. Despite the massive body of science and research that links sugar with type 2 diabetes and actually heart disease, they're the Heart Foundation, um, and inflammation and cancer and plenty of other things, like massive amounts of science and research, and they ignored that and took money from Nestle and Unilever and all these other corporations and literally were giving advice that kills people, that actually causes heart disease. So now, I did that when I was on Centrelink and had no money. Now that I have money, <laughs> watch out. Yeah. So I have started a petition against the Health Star rating system. You can Google Health Star rating petition. They literally put four and a half out of five stars on those sipper straws that have little chocolate balls and mint choc balls, and they have half a teaspoon of sugar per straw in them. They put five stars, five out of five stars on Up and Go, which has high fructose corn syrup and just like crap, literally no nutritional value, and it's all funded by corporations and big food industry. So if you want to Google Health Star Rating Petition, sign that. I also have created a competition for anyone that wants to create whole food recipes and you could use the essential oils. Top prize, $1,000. Second prize, $500. Third prize, $250. So you can jump on my blog, getafreshstart.com.au and get involved with that um, and get behind the petition. We've just created an advertising campaign. I'm, I'm putting in tens of thousands of dollars into this petition um, and filming different health experts and kids on their opinion, Dominic's in the video, which is coming out this week. On their opinion about the health star rating system, and it's pretty awesome to see kids asking our government to stop poisoning them. So, yeah, it's quite cool. Yeah, Dom. So, service. I think you know that that is kind of something that I'm passionate about on a massive scale. But it's the little things that I see people do when no one is looking that really mean a lot to me. And we have a legally blind woman in our team that lost her convention kit on the train yesterday. Um, and Liz, are you here still? If you're here, stand up. If not, you may have had to get a flight home. But Liz gave her convention kit to this woman. There's Liz. Thank you, Liz. You're so
service and having a massive heart. And that is the power that we have to influence people in little moments when no one else is watching. That smile, that kind word. I'm a maximizer, that's one of my strengths. So I love to make people feel good about themselves. I like to see the value in them and help them have that belief before they have that in themselves. And they do step into that belief. But some people may have never had that encouraging word showing their true value within. Not like just you wear nice shoes, and yeah, I did wear bloody nice shoes yesterday. I know, I know. <laughs> but actually showing people their value and inner worth and just the amazing spirit and stuff they can bring. So whether that's in a class, really edifying your host, and after the class telling them what they did extremely well, whether that's writing them a note, or calling them on the phone or having coffee with them and literally being with them and telling them what you see in them. I had a, a Golden Above leader retreat in Byron Bay in November and I had this download that I had to get all 23 of my gold, platinum, diamond leaders in a circle and each one, one by one, sit in the middle and turn around to face everyone on the outside of the circle. And the people on the outside had to tell the person in the middle what they valued, loved, and appreciated about that person. It took eight bloody hours. I didn't think it would take that long. We did it over two days, but we love each other so much. You know, people really took it extremely seriously, and we all sobbed for the whole eight hours as well. There's a, a large amount of tissues going around the circle. But it was extremely powerful and transformational for those leaders. Um, yeah, it was just such a touching moment that I'll take with me forever. But you can do that with two people at your dining table or one person on the phone or even a Facebook message. So after this wraps up today, I want you to really think about who you love, value, and appreciate and have gratitude for in your life. And bloody well tell them because so often we hear what we're not doing well. And I know there's a lot of things that I do really, really poorly. I stuff up all the time as a leader, as a mom, as a woman. Um, and, I, and I get feedback that I've stuffed up and that can feel not great, it's necessary, but what if we just made that massive effort to lift everyone, not just in oils, but at the grocery store, in every single interaction in our life, wouldn't that change the world on a massive scale? We can't save everybody, but we can make a difference and influence one life at a time, and the ripple effect from that, we've seen it at conventions. We've doubled numbers from last year. There are so many beautiful people here today. And I'm so grateful and honored to be a part of it and have the most incredible leaders in my team and Crossline. Just, just such a group of absolute bloody legends, are we not? Yeah. Own that! <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> So, um, oh. say yes and then figure it out, seriously. Say yes to doTERRA, say yes to yourselves because you are actually worth it and own that. Um, I do want to mention that Brad and I are doing our tapping EFT course again. I've heard tapping and EFT mentioned a lot this last week, which is super awesome. So if you have blocks like worrying about what other people think about your filthy pyramid scheme, not that any of us should, we're all over that, right? But if you have that, maybe it's not a pyramid scheme, by the way. Network marketing, direct sales is totally awesome. But if you have blocks like not being able to find good leaders, or feeling like you're not a great leader yourself, or being seen and public speaking, or anything like that, we are running a, a tapping EFT course to assist you with that. And Brad is hilarious. I find humor helps shift stuff really quickly because you can laugh at yourself. <laughs> it's awesome. So, and the early bird special is on for another two weeks. So just jump on my website, get a fresh start.com.au, and have a look at the tapping course. And please just sign my petition. It would mean so much to me if you spread the word to all your teams and everybody as well. Um, I